guess who's back in Cardiff today? That'll be me. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Look how sunny it is. It's off to Fan Romney, that one. Oh, electric, electric bus. Here comes another one. There's a whole fleet of buses coming. Look, zero emission electric bus. It's a new one on me, relatively. What about that one? No, that one isn't. I can't get over how beautifully lit it is in this lovely sunshine. Now I was planning to come into Cardiff as a just celebration day of my daughter, you know, going off to start her new life, this the start of my new life, and then I got COVID, <laughs> so I didn't do it last week, but I'm doing it now. I've got a few bits and bobs to buy, not many, so there's not too much pressure to be, you know, finding things urgently, and I can always get them online if I can't find them. But uh, yeah, a couple of clothing items and a couple of stationary items that I just want, just for the sake of treating myself. I haven't really had lunch. I kind of, I left in a hurry because I planned to get one specific train and then suddenly at the last minute decided to get the earlier one so I left in a rush and I didn't eat lunch before I left I just grabbed snacks I've been eating like Bell Vita biscuits and crisps on the train so I'm not starving but at some point I will need to stop for um, a snack and a drink I think oh it's a lovely smell in here it smells like abroad I think it's the warm weather it smells like food but it kind of smells like fish and chips but oh, I don't know cafes maybe Oh, there we are, red geraniums. That's my dad's favourite, that is. I'm going in here. Ooh. Oh dear. Front window. <gasps> oh, another one, what the heck? How does that even happen? Doesn't it? Oh, was it? A man with a brick? Oh my goodness. As far as I'm aware, that is pretty unusual for in here. I'm going upstairs. Oh, am I going the wrong? Hang on a minute. Right, I was confused then, because look, the footprints left over from the pandemic around the wrong way but that's because that escalator is not working so they've swapped them around today i nearly had a moment then i thought my brain was working backwards again <laughs> i'm going to my favorite clothing shop which is h and m i'm up walking through the foodie bit at the moment i can't smell it as much here as i could in the street funnily enough oh hello ladies Himo, don't get distracted. You want underwear. I specifically want cotton underwear and I haven't seen any yet. They're very ample, aren't they? I do believe they are the tummy tucky inny ones. I have lots of underwear and I like boxer shorty ones with sort of legs in. But the thing is, I also wear shorts over tights under my dresses just in case they, you know, rise up. And I also like to keep my phone in the pocket of my shorts. The thing is, boxer shorts under tights and then shorts is too much. The legs of the pants are like rolling up underneath and I'm struggling to get them flat so I need to get something a little bit smaller but not much. I'm thinking multi-pack of something cotton, you want something breathable. I've given up on the knickers but I'm trying on this t-shirt, 3 99 that'll do, just plain black and tidy. Mine were getting very scruffy and a lot of them have migrated over to my boyfriend's house and I keep literally running out of them. I'm going upstairs. Ooh, it's fed up when I got on it. Ooh. I didn't have any baskets, so I've just kind of got mine hanging off my camera bag at the moment. I seem to have taken the wrong turning. It just seems to be men and kids upstairs now. I'm sure there used to be a bit of extra ladies wear. Got the Halloween outfits in. Look, it's very, what's her name? Wednesday Adams or something like that. Or Morticia. A little skelly bones there. <laughs> little sequin rib cage. Lovely. <laughs> oh, look at this bat skirt. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Why don't they do that in adult sizes? I would totally wear that to a Halloween gig. That is awesome. Oops. Well, there's no point me lurking around up here aimlessly, is there? Because there's only men's and kids. I'm going to go down and pay. I wonder if I can pay up here. Let's queue, you see. Yeah, I think I can. I'm going to go to M&S for my knickers, I think. I've been seeing people passing by with that dazed shopping look. When you're getting a bit oversaturated. I haven't reached this point yet. And when I do, that's when I'm going for coffee and food. Anyway, I am exiting H&M. And I got one thing, so that's good. I reckon I'm going to try Peacocks as I am passing. They apparently have knickers in the sale, 50 pence each. It says soiled or damaged. You kind of feel a bit strange buying a pair of soiled pants. They're a bit, um, I mean, they're a size eight, which is too small for me, but you know, they're a bit too 
they're not really my style shall we say I'm gonna have a look though I am interested in looking out for shorts that maybe are on sale because it's the end of the season I don't have any summer shorts other than like furry type ones to go under dresses and I don't really want to wear those as sort of outside clothing it's not really my style I'd like something with pockets you know big chunky pockets in and that sort of thing so I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled but it doesn't matter if I can't find anything because I won't be wearing them till next year probably anyway or on holiday what draws your eyes to clothes when you're browsing like this because you might just see a little bit of it and go oh for me it's nearly always the pattern and this pattern drawn my eye to it it's a size let's go for the 14 have a look at that i think i'm a 12 but you know oh, it varies doesn't it from brand to brand i'm just falling off there already no it's too big it's too big but it's kind of kind of fun looking it's a 10 i can't get them out with one hand whilst vlogging wow i found it in a size 8 and it's massive it's not an 8 honestly unless it's meant to be really baggy um i quite like it to be honest it's reduced in the sale to eight pounds. I think I'm gonna get it. Well, I've had a good look at the pants and they do seem to be cotton, but none of these shapes are quite right for me. Even the full briefs are not below the bum line. I want it to come under me buttocks, ideally. I'll just, oh, not for me, no, I must be old fashioned. And I've had the shorty ones before and they do rise up at the back again. You see, this is why I get them off the internet usually. The ones with a bit of leggage. I feel M&S will come good for me. I'm gonna nip into one below to pick up a cheap drink with a, a lid, you know, a bottle. Cause I keep blinking, forgetting to bring my water bottle. There's a water. Water for 50p that'll do just fine not smart water when it's alone uh not sure but i'm gonna have it anyway <laughs> i have to try and not let my eyes roam around on in here i'll end up with loads of heavy stuff to carry home that i could have bought locally oh it's like a wonderland in here Ooh, ooh. i'd better go and pay otherwise i'm gonna get tempted to buy chocolate because i'm gonna start thinking i'm having a treaty day well i kind of am to be honest mm, i have eaten all those caramax i got the other day from home bargains Ooh. oh i had something like that the other night at the, at the gig they had pick and mix it wasn't that brand but i love bonbons stuck in my teeth for ages afterwards though Ew, i'm in tiger flying tiger so squeeze me Oh, lovely. It's a heart, apparently. Yeah. I'm only in here because I want to make my daughter up a little Halloween surprise parcel. Oh, it's a boxing pumpkin pen. I'm not going to buy it. But it's funny. Spider string lights. It's a basket on legs. Ooh. I was thinking more chockies and sweeties, really, than anything that's just going to end up being, you know, taking up space and not being used. I haven't got a Halloween gig this year. I've just got a normal Kaylee and it's not a Halloween one, so I don't have an excuse to dress up. I don't know how well it would go down if I turn up with the Kaylee dressed up as a bat and I'm the only one. Right, today's gonna be the day. I've been deliberating for years about getting a banana box. I've had so many squished bananas in my bag and it ends up all squished into everything in your bag. Diary, flute, gigging gear, no more. For the sake of one pound, we're gonna have a banana box. I'm going to m and now. Got my banana box. Got my sandals on today. I wonder if it'll be the last day of the year. Unless I go abroad, of course. Mm, don't know when I'm doing that yet. I haven't made up my mind. I think I may have quite a good spell of opportunity between January and the end of March. So I might go then and go for a while. I don't know, still thinking about it. Now the last time I was in here buying bras, I met a subscriber, right, when I was buying bras. Uh, anyway, right, pants now. So let's see if I meet another subscriber whilst choosing underwear. I missed out on the whole heavy absorbency period knickers thing because by the time they were invented, I didn't need them anymore. I quite like these down here, but you see, they're not cotton and I'm really wary about having anything synthetic because I like to have that area nice and breathable to be honest because I'm prone to infections. Oh, here we go. Find your perfect fit. Now, I would say for me, I would like the high rise shorts, please. Aha, there's a whole section of high rise shorts. I must be able to find something I like here in cotton, hopefully. Yay, I've made a choice. Seven pounds for five pairs. Yahoo! Oh, that's a really eye-catching display. <laughs> They've got dinosaur ornaments. Oh, what's he got on his feet? Converse or something. He's a cool cat, that one. Oh, there's the dinosaur. It's roller skates. It's a roller skating dinosaur tree ornament. That's certainly very different. 
There's a whole box set of them there for 15 quid. There's a glittery triceratops. There's a light. Oh, all twinkly. Right, I'm getting distracted. I want to have a look at t-shirts though. Oh my gosh, my stomach is actually growling. I mean, you can't hear it because it's stopped now, of course, but I think we need to go find some food. Do you agree? Yes, they do. Oh, I like those trousers. I like the flare at the bottom. Uh, yeah, you know me, I do like my flares. Well, maybe you don't know me if this is your first time to my channel. I just find them so practical, as long as they're not too flary. Um, and I always hem mine up really high so they don't get in puddles and soak up the trouser leg. I'm actually attempting to leave though. I'm going to Costa because I've got an in-app money off thingy. I think it's like 30% off food or something. And I'm just thinking about that mac and cheese that they do. It's so nice. I don't want anything else there. Mind you, I could eat a toasty. I fancy a toasty as well. I'm hungry. Hello. Oh, look, there's my mind made up. No mac and cheese left, so it's going to be a toasty for me today. Something vegetarian. I'm sure cheddar and roasted tomato. I am having a lovely Americano with some soy milk. And do you know what? I couldn't use my app because the blinky thing logged out. And I just couldn't log back in. I didn't want to hold up the queue. I was like pressing it and pressing it. I think my phone was crashing or something. I'm still looking forward to my toasty regardless. lady brought it over oh yum looking forward to this so much for me cutting down on dairy i have cut down on dairy there's a bit of cheese on that though. i'm giving my phone a bit of a charge when i'm sitting still it's a bit easier than when you're on the move time to leave Oh, bright and sunny out here now. We've got that evening low level light. I'm going to go in WH Smith's, which is right here actually. Look at all these leaves coming in, blowing in quite away. I'm looking for washi tape. Up we go. Fun purchases now. I think we're done with the clothing. So weird not looking in the education section. I'm craving to do a course myself, but I haven't got time. There's just, it's just not happening. I've been doing quite a lot of sort of self study at night though. Portuguese, I've been doing most nights I've been doing a good sort of half an hour to maybe an hour and I've been reading a book on the history of Lisbon that my daughter bought for me for Christmas last year and it's literally taken me till she's gone to uni for me to sort of find the time to get around to going through it but I've been taking notes and typing up in my notion and things like that and then googling extra bits where it's triggered my interest in sort of just a bit of further research so just kind of doing a fun research project I suppose based on this book. I'll show you which one it is at some point when I get it out of my bag maybe when we're going home. I was looking at that on the train coming here I had it on the table and I was taking notes with my fountain pen yeah just enjoying that. What have we got in the clearance outlet today? Look at all that back to basics paper or fancy paper. There won't be any here because it's for next year, but I'm going to look out for diaries for January and onwards. For my, I just want something with thicker paper and a bit better. Oh, look at that. What? Where do you stick the things? How do you know? You just have to tuck them in, do you? Well, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> want something attached. They've got calendars in for next year, so I bet they have diaries too. Pick this up for Isabel's Halloween box. I know it's not very Halloween y, but I know she'll like it and it's very lightweight and can easily be posted and it's reduced a bit as well. It's amusing me how the little faces are peeping up, like as if they're looking from behind a wall or something because of the thing in front. I feel like they're watching me. Downstairs for planners, I just asked an assistant. He said there will be more stock coming in. So far, they've only got a few, I think. Ah, uh -huh, here they are. This is everything they have, I think. So I'm going to have a look through there, see what there is. It's actually getting quite late now. I've come out there and I was just tapping my phone to pay for Izzy's stickers and I thought, I forgot to look for washi tape. Anyway, I'm going to look in the works. It's bigger than the one that is nearer me so they might have washi tape i'm gonna go and have a look anyway but it's getting late i'm gonna have to get the train i am gonna be traveling in rush hour oh those are big advent calendars they would come up above the height of my knee i would say oh halloween stuff yeah they definitely got more in than my one i normally go to 
Ooh, washi tape. It is a bit pricey, isn't it, for what it is? It makes me happy. I'm not going to get that, though. I want the thin stuff to be like borders around the edge of a page. That's what I really love in my diary. These are £3. They're very pretty, but again, they're a bit on the... I want the narrow stuff. But I would probably still get it anyway. I have been using stuff that thickness. Just impinges on the actual writing space. That's the thing. And they've got these little sets for a fiver as well. Ooh, what's this for six quid? 20 rolls. They're, are they narrow? They are narrow. I don't think I like the design, unfortunately. <laughs> but I like the thickness, or the width, I should say. Those planners that I was looking at in WH Smith, none of them were right. The pages were all too thin. They would have my fountain penning bleeding through, unfortunately. Now oh, this one's got reduced Dymo tape as well. Six pound in here, it was eight pound in my more local one. These are nice charity cards. Look, three pound for 10. Beautiful. I love the really colourful, sort of well-saturated colour and bright and cheery looking and very detailed and busy looking. It's my favourite sort, really. I know there's one of the bus on there, look. £2 for 10. They're lovely. Puzzles. I'm nearly getting back to doing my puzzles. I've cleared the table off. I've just been doing some different things in the evenings, but I am going to definitely get back to that very soon. Oh, look at this old-fashioned park scene there. That's what parks looked like when I was a kid. I remember those style of roundabouts, look. And the horse like that. Yeah, the wick steed, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember the seesaws all in a line like that and the treacherously high slides. It's amazing how actually really dangerous they were. Whitby Harbour, there's a folk festival in Whitby every year. It's getting super late. I'm gonna pay for this and then I'll see if I can catch the stationers that sells ink before it shuts. I don't know if I can, to be honest. I've made it in time. I don't know what time it shuts, but I'm here now and it's still open. I just had a video call from somebody and I'm having a band rehearsal tomorrow now. It's, it's been scheduled in at short notice. Um, I've been saying, oh, well, I'm gonna to have to do it on the fly. I'm not prepared, um, but I'll try and do some preparation tomorrow before leaving uh, anyway yeah I want some ink because I've got three of these inks these beautiful inks and I'm craving something else because I like variety I like every time I fill up my fountain pen with my little refillable cartridge I like to have a complete change of ink and I just oh I like it so anyway I'll stop rambling on and choose something oxblood that sounds a bit Halloween-y doesn't it they're not cheap mind are they but they last and last and last I think it's about a year since I last bought myself any, and I think maybe, you know, once a year isn't that extravagant for a treat. I wonder how much these are. Oh, they're a little smaller, aren't they? Twelve fifty for a smaller one. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe they're different prices depending on what colour it is. Eight seventy five, that one. Aha, uh -huh. look, this is why these are more expensive. They're shimmery. <gasps> that is gorgeous. <laughs> We're going for Kelly Green because it's so different from everything else I have. This place does Welsh cards. I have to show you which one it was because I was walking in on the phone literally, so I didn't get a shot of the outside. But yeah, it's a good place to come for Welsh language cards. There's the Three Kings there. I feel like the lights are beginning to dim. I think that could be a hint for me to pay and go. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what time it shuts. I didn't look. I just dived in quick in case it was about to close. Oh, oh so it's the pen and paper and as I was walking in chatting to Jim on the video call he was saying oh I like it in there as well I shop in there. <laughs> I'm gonna look at my train times now and and uh, hot foot it to the station I guess. Green man is here just in time. It's gonna say got 11 minutes till my train so that's perfect timing actually. Perfect timing to not have to rush and just get there in good time nice and relaxed but not have too long to wait when I get there. Perfect spot on. Ah oh, the sun! I'm wondering what exactly these things are for here that you get by here. I don't know. People are all gravitating homewards on the whole now, I think. Maybe some people are coming out for night shifts, I don't know. Got cases being wheeled around here near the station. <laughs> Somebody's left me a can of this. Oh, there's quite a lot in there. Might not drink it, to be honest. So I definitely won't. I don't, I'm joking. <laughs> That's all looking rather lovely, glinting in the evening sunlight. It's amazing how nice gantries can look with the right lighting. 
I've also been jotting down any English vocabulary that I've picked up from the book I'm reading as well because you know sometimes you have to look up words well I'm making a note of those and then putting them in the Quizlet app as well so I can just go over those in flashcards and think it doesn't have to go in quick with repetition it syncs with your laptop as long as you signed in on both so you can type it in on your laptop and then just do it on your phone then you know when you're out and about right I'm going to show you that book I'm reading here it comes it's this one Izzy bought it for me for Christmas which was really nice of her out of her money that she'd earned from her first job. It's The History of Lisbon by Barry Hatton and I'm just slowly working my way through it, basically. Enjoying. I'm back home. It's just gone seven o'clock. Lovely, just easy journey home. Very uneventful, really. Quite pleasant. This is what I have bought. Look, banana case, one pound. Seven pound for five pairs of knickers. Some of these for three pound. I'm going to really enjoy festooning things with that later, late tonight, when I've done with all my tasks. Some Kelly Green Ink. A top reduced in the sale, which I think is just quite fun, really. Uh, plain black top for when I've got to look presentable, and some stickers to start off Izzy's Halloween parcel, even though it's not Halloween y. I very much enjoyed my day out today, it's just whetted my appetite to go again. I didn't look in half as many shops as I would have liked to have, but I left quite late because I was getting stuff done before leaving, you see. Doing my flute practice and all my admin and everything before leaving. Oh, and also, Viewers to the channel that watch regularly will know that I've been getting me knickers in a twist over my daughter's refrigerated medication, which is in self-injection pens. They were delivered to her at her campus room successfully at about eight o'clock this morning. So brilliant. But I mean, the poor driver did end up ringing me because he couldn't find the block. But uh, anyway, it, was, it worked out. She's got them. They're safely in her fridge. They didn't go above the temperature that they need to not go above, so they're not destroyed. So she's good now till the end of term. Yeah, yeah, that was a load off, that was. Anyway, I am going to get on with my evening now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Could you please give it a like? If you happen to like it, subscribe down below to watch more videos from me, and I will see you in the next video.